Okay, down to $78 now. Up and over, friend. Once you toss that gravity well over the divider, the suction will do the rest. Wow. Bingo, that's the way. We're one step closer to getting the Thinker's blueprint out of Rapture. Head down the lift to operations. This is free, right? Funny that's free is pretty epic. There we go. Okay. So we're done with what I assume is probably the first half of the DLC, maybe? Gravity well allows you to throw a super dense polyp. Load time's just too fast. Final battle Operations. You're nearing the heart of the machine. Okay. Visitors to Minerva's Den are reminded that the operations wing of Rapture Central Computing is strictly off-limits. Next time I visit Gatherer's Garden, I can actually get the, the discount now, the vending machine discount. That's good. Sigma! You show such loyalty to a proven traitor! What is Porter to you? A convenient excuse to disrupt my work? Or something more? I am curious, I must admit. But not enough to let you live. All right, what are you springing on me? What are you springing on me? No mini turrets, no security, no nothing. All right, here we go. We're off to the races. Uh, I'm going to auto hack this. This is not good. There you go. Okay, I got those. That's what I wanted. Whew. I've got a bathosphere at my lab that should be able to get us the hell out of Rapture, but we can't launch just yet. First, we'll need to reprogram a signal beacon. That nutcase lamb's got the city on lockdown, but a hacked beacon should keep her torpedoes at bay. See what you can find. Okay, so I had to pause for a second, but you can already see that there's three more little sisters in this particular level. Now, that cost me a lot of auto-hack darts, but I thought this might be a place where there's, um, there's going to be multiple enemies. I didn't think it was just one Houdini splicer. So I wanted to invest in getting these two by my side so I could deal with everybody else, but I'm sure it would serve me well for the rest of the area. Okay. Start with this. Ooh. It's a great proximity trap. That's cool. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of Adam here, but I'm not seeing um, Hypnotize 3. I think I know they might be a little bit broken in this context, so it's interesting they don't have it. So I am gonna go for this. We need all the savings that we can get. Damn. The hack moves fast now. I've got to be very, very careful. And I won't have as much money to, to buy out as I did before. This is not good. 
as you can see. This is worth dying for. Yeah, I'm not going to waste resources on that. If I fail, I fail. Boom, right on schedule. Yeah, it's just it's not worth trying to buy out or trying to heal or whatever. And I guess these guys still here. Gigi's still here. Auto hack dart. Okay, they're both here. Gigi and Benjamin. But this poor thing is stuck. Yeah. Let's try this again. I really need these hacks. So I've got to not mess up. Just about. So what's the prices now? Yeah. It's made about a 10% difference. I expected more, to be honest. Hmm... I have to manage like this for now. After some searching, I made contact with Charles Milton Porter in Minerva's Den. A productive exchange. Clearly, Rapture is no place to continue my research. But Porter says that if he can find a way to return to the surface, along with the programming for his mainframe, we could then rebuild the machine and work together towards the cure. I have located an Alpha series to assist him. Subject Sigma. I must return to the surface. If Sigma is successful in Minerva's den, then the cure for Adam's curse is on its way. It is only a matter of time. That's a good sign. It's definitely something I want to help be a part of. So where are we going first? Office of Reed. Okay, it's not that huge an area. Let's try and get in here first. Gigi eventually recovered, and I'm sure Benjamin will be back soon. Oh god, this is fucker. Where are you, son? Can you hear him? Can't see him. The brain boost gene tonics are working. Extra strength, yes. I see more now. One mind doing the work of two. Ten. With the help of the thinker, a thousand. The machine spoke. Ryan listened. And finally, I have the thinker all to myself. Goodbye, old friend. Don't worry. You leave your creation in capable hands. Damn. Wait, what? That's uh, another one of these. Did I get all of them in the last one? I got a river upgrade, okay. Magazine size damage up. So this is their replacement for the powers of the people thing. That's cool. Works for me. Works for me. Okay. Hmm. Just thinking, how should we do this? The fucking troubles get fucking bigger. Let me try and hack his. I can't. Why? The only way to do it is to win. Oh, he's in there. I didn't notice. Let's... There we 
go. And then we've got Houdini Spicer in here as well. It is manic. Okay, got that as well. Whoa. I could very easily die here. I think that's that. I don't know where the other one is. <laughs> this is trouble. I gotta move. And once they come after you, they really come after you. So I gotta be super careful. I just don't have the resources to constantly fight with the security system. <laughs> He's just hunting me down. Come on, 10 more seconds. There you go. It's on my team now. That's something. Like that. Just spare Eve everywhere, thankfully. Right, let's try getting back in there this time. I need to see where that camera is. There was a bunch of red lights, but some of them were from turrets, and I need to get a proper look. Okay, there it is, arsehole. Uh, I might need to do a gather in here, so I was thinking, should I just take this, uh, this sucker out, but... Thankfully, the security cameras are still in hackable sort of range. At the moment, I don't feel like I'm ready to take a big daddy on. I'm going to hack this one too. Search the floor outside to find a bathysphere signal beacon. Right, we're not quite done yet. Just definitely not getting in now. Definitely need to try and get in there. Wow. This is a cool room. This is what I mean in terms of like the aesthetic feeling very different from the, the main game. It really is a nice DLC. You can see though, even with the upgraded rivet gun, it's not doing a huge amount of damage. I really need my extra security with me. Hard difficulties, definitely that push that you need. Brings back some of that old Bioshock fear and stress. Okay. Right, I need a gravity well, right? But does that, like, destroy my machines as well? Hold on. Just in case, I'm going to try and be a bit smart here. And I'm going to deactivate them. those who can just sit there for a second. Does that know how it works? Let's check if there's a way to throw it in from here.
Yes. Can we activate these guys? Right, Benjamin and Harvey on the case. Wait, what? I forgot to say, is it only temporary? It might be. It's not temporary? I don't know, dude, that was weird. I'm pretty sure I threw it inaccurately the first time. Ooh, solid slugs. Excellent. Now, the only thing is this... Um, Anti-personnel routes. Wait a minute. But did I even get the machine gun? No. I'm sure I'll find it soon. Yeah, the only thing is this could be a difficult hack. Yeah, look at that. And... I'm not going to buy it out. I'm thinking... I'm going to use one of these. Okay. Wait, where am I? Why can I not see myself on the map? That's a bit weird. Is that a hard mode thing where it doesn't show you where everything is? There you go. Won't have time to react. That worked out pretty well. Some of the boys in the code pit whipped up a real doozy of an entertainment. Monitor screen hooked into a sort of tiny airplane cockpit, yeah? And that's swell, because what shows up on screen is an X, that's you, and a bunch of O's, like a Spitfire surrounded by a squadron of Jap Zeros. You fly your little X around and shoot them down one after another. The wall caught us at it one night, called it a waste of time. I don't know. On balance, ain't it better to change what's on the screen than just stare at it? Yeah, I didn't get to focus too much on it other than the fact that they discovered something that was kind of like a flight simulator and they had fun with it. Play Spitfire. Did it actually play? Oh, wow. So that's some early Space Invaders thing. I mean, is the goal to just avoid them? Yeah, okay, screw that. that. That's just, I'm terrible at those games. But there you go, the fact they have a little, even a mini game within the DLC is pretty epic. Well, I nearly messed that up. Wait, what? Felix Birnbaum's office key. That's interesting. I'll try and keep that in mind. Yeah, the map does behave a bit weird sometimes. The, this DLC has been a bit odd at times. Yeah, now it's back to normal. Let's keep going. There's a machine gun. Yeah. Upgraded machine gun. Okay. Got a lot of toys now. Very well. Maybe. I deserve respect. I do. What is this? Silent treatment? Well, come on. Where's your gun? Where are you? 
we go, that works. So I think that's that section done. Okay, so now I'm going to go down towards this bit and see what I can find. I mean, th we do have the airlock here. Maybe I should just go through this way instead. floor outside Minerva's den is a machine graveyard. With a little luck, you should find the beacon we need out there. I mean, I feel like surely, whoa, I feel like surely I find it and I, I can just come back in here, right? Upgraded shotgun. Oh, yes. I must keep an eye on Porter and his thinking machine. There's more than one way to muscle out a rival, and I suspect that Fontaine is vying for market dominance in computing now as well. Each hour, that contraption spends crunching genetic code for Fontaine, brings my city one step closer to dissolution. And if Porter should begin dancing to that hoodlum's tune, well, a machine is a marvel, invaluable. The man may prove obsolete. Just Andrew Ryan and, and his endless and his endless struggle with those around him. It's like always looking over his shoulder. I mean, these rocket spears are just so expensive now that I just I, I, I can't I can't spend fifty two dollars on it right now. I will get a mini turret though. In fact, I'll get two because those are just too useful. Solid slug. 45. Eesh. I'm not buying anything else for now. But the shotgun upgrade is really nice. Much needed. Think how disappointed Mr. Porter would be. Okay. Let's get this ready. Trying to see if I get some quick electrocution in, but what? The number <laughs> some damn fool stuck his finger in the socket. To get out through the airlock, you'll have to break the circuit somehow. Well, okay. I mean, normally when this happens, they just get electrocuted to death and then they fall, so even if his finger's stuck in, he should just be dead. But okay, this is a bit of a unique problem. Just keep that little bit of Adam in mind. It's another nice look. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here. Um, can I gravity well him, maybe? There we go. Smart. I have my moments. I figured out how to reprogram a bathysphere signal beacon to scramble Lamb's torpedoes. But I need access to a bathysphere, and Porter's got the only one in the den locked away at his private dock. Son of a bitch, why doesn't he open up? 
Okay. Like I said, I'm hoping that once I get out there, let me throw in a manual save actually. I'll probably end this session soon. Okay. Let me just head out there. I'm pretty sure we're going to do whatever we do. Look for a downed bathosphere. They each had a signal beacon we could use. Oh, what? Okay. Let's pick up little sluggy over here first. But there you go. It's another one of them shots that you might like. We've got the shark looping around as well. Okay, and we're back. We are back. Heavy rivets. It's like now more than ever, we just got to really make sure we're scavenging. Every slither of Adam we can find. Make yourself at home, Sigma. Soon you also will be rusting here among the trash, used up by Porter and tossed on the heap. Okay. It's almost enough for a gene tonic. There's a bathysphere over here, right? There it is. That'll do the trick. Take the beacon to the master input console in the programming wing. That paranoid bastard Wall had it installed in his office. Is that a... Uh, it's just a spicer. Surprise, Sigma! Oh god. What is he doing? Arsehole. Fine, let's get back in. Here we go. Oh yeah, shit. Wow. I thought I thought that was in the next roof. Let's hack this thing. God's sake. Really? Wait, there's multiple ones here? Oh my god, I didn't notice. Reed, you bastard. Okay, well, my one won, at least. Can I repair it? Why not? You never know, it might come in handy. Even the door hacks are not as easy anymore. Of a bot. Okay. 
Where are you? Should be ready to go. Oh. Wait, let's do a hypnotize. There you go. Have at it. Oh, well, <laughs> he didn't manage very much, did he? Wait, I'm being attacked too here? What? Oh, I think I just got caught in the crossfire. Right, do we try and take out this big daddy now? Er, I think with only two, two health kits, that's not wise. So, buy some more. But I think I've got to go for this here. Here we go. I'm gonna. Um... <laughs> ah, I should not have missed that. I'm out of rocket spear ammo. Shit. You can see just how resilient they are. Yeah, we're in big trouble now. He's kind of staying away as well. Let me throw another mini turret in the mix. Throwing everything I've got at him. There we go. Oof. Right, it's all well and good, but like I say, these resources, they're just being drained so fast. It's tough to keep up. <laughs> 